Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today we're taking a look at Final Cut Pro X and we're looking at some basic effects. Um, one of the things that we're um, currently working on is um, taking uh, some clips and making them black and white. And there's a couple ways we can go about that. Um, I've already imported some clips and I've dragged two different clips down here to show you two different methods of going about this. Right now, this is what the clip currently looks like that we're working with. Okay. It's all black and white. Now, to give you an idea of what it looked like beforehand, um, there's a couple effects that I applied here that might be worthwhile. Um, first effect, um, here is the black and white. So we'll take that away, and now you can see what the clip looked like originally. Okay? There's another effect on here that's actually very useful for older vintage style films, uh, which is kind of the look that we are going for. We have the Beauty, Bo Beauty Box plugin that we were using, and that, if you watch closely on the faces here, actually picks up the skin tones and smooths the faces. So watch what happens here. And you can see the texture, the different reds, some of the different shadows, facial hair, um, you know, just different things like that. So the first thing I applied was the beauty box. Okay, clicking on the clip, went over to um, all the effects here, and it's listed in our drop down here as beauty box. If I want to, I can go just to digital anarchy, and that's where it's actually from, where we got the plugin from. Um, so now we've got the beauty box plugin. I can take that and I can drag it over to this clip. Once I drag it onto there. I get this drop down menu that's going to show up. Now automatically it's going to apply it. So I'll put that back on. You can see our grid here. And there are some settings that are in here. You can choose the amount that you want to smooth the skin, the smoothing detail on the skin, so how much it actually takes away or softens. Okay, and then you can do the contrast to adjust the color settings. I've already gone about doing that. Here are the hues. If you want kind of a broader range for the hues, because there's different skin color um, types that are on the screen, you'd have to adjust this accordingly. But here are basically all the settings that you need for that. Okay, now um, aside from that, I'm going to go ahead and collapse that. And I'm going to come back over to the black and white. Now this black and white setting, you can go to Stylize. And under Stylize, they've got all these different film looks. They're in here, aged film, all of that. Okay, and let's see here. Is it in this one? It must not be in this one. Maybe it is in, I'm trying to remember, uh, looks. Let's try that. And take a look here. All well, these are different feelings here. Um, and go to all here. If in doubt, we'll bring that up. And it's listed in here as black and white under all. So same thing. Chose that. And then I, you can get kind of a preview of what it looks like here. So you can scrub through the clip that way to see what it looks like. And then I can drag that on over to the clip that I want to put that on. Okay, I've already got one on there, so now I'm going to just enable that up here in my effects. Now, if you're not seeing this area where you can make the adjustments, down here on the sliders is where you can actually show or hide the inspector. Okay, now once that's up, I have the ability to go about choosing what I want to have happen to the reds, the greens, and blues. And essentially what's happening is it's desaturating these. Okay, so I can make adjustments on here to see what these look like. And on the reds, there's a lot of red in this clip. His jacket happens to be red. Okay, you can see what happens. And I just dial these down to get the specific look that I'm going for. Okay, and there's a lot of greens in the background here. Maybe I want it a little bit brighter, so it kind of washes out in the background, and they're the focus. Maybe I want kind of a darker hue to this. Um, go with whatever you like. Okay, and then for the blue. Of course, I can dial that up too, and you can see the effect that that has. And I'm going to bring that back down here, somewhere in here. Now, this is one way that you can do black and white. Some people like this because you can choose the color specifically. All right? It's all a matter of preference, really. Okay, It's kind of a cookie-cutter way of doing black and white. Another way that we can do black and white, let's go to our second clip here and take a look at this. All right? I've got our talents here who is about to tell the young man that it's all over. Anyway, um, I've already softened her face here. OK, 
Okay, and I've got the beauty box on there. And one of the things that I did is I did a color correction. Okay, it automatically shows up with a couple corrections on here. What I need to do is go in and adjust the settings on the correction. First thing I did is I went to saturation. And saturation automatically starts at about halfway here. It zeroes out for you. And I'm going to dial that back up to where it was, which it was a pretty vibrant clip there. And I'm getting some weird effects because of the, uh, the other things that I've done here. But the first thing you do is desaturate it 100%. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this all the way down. Okay. Now, next thing that I'm going to do is take a look at the exposure. This is where I can create a specific look. I've got my shadows, my midtones, and my highlights. And by adjusting those, I can create kind of a different feel on all of these. So you can see this lightens it up. It's not quite crushing the blacks quite as much. Okay, and bring that down. I like the darker tones in there. Okay, and these all start off at the midway point as well. It was pretty bright in the background, so I brought the highlights down. If I want to dial those back up, I can bring those up as well. So now I can uh, adjust all those so I can really wash it out. Focus on her face, getting a nice white pallid face there. Okay. Again, it's preferences here of what you want to do. This way I feel you have a little bit more control over how you make the clip actually black and white. And you get a really crisp look to it. So you've got that look versus this look. And you can see that's just kind of a standard black and white. This is more, it's got that kind of specialized look to it. Let's see if we can scrub through here, right there. So, pretty cool. All right, well, that ends our first tutorial here with Final Cut Pro X, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, join us again for another episode of Red Hawk Media.